The ET is my favorite solo bass of all time. Inspired by the Wilgem Tower, I've adapted this bass to be the perfect solo bass to get you through any wipe. Featuring not one, but two armored bunkers, more loot storage than you'll ever need, a unique workbench block, a 360 degree shooting floor with peak downs, not to mention a design that will have you towering over any other bass on the server, you guys really have to try this awesome build. Coming up to the jump up, I like to play some mixing table here until I get a compound down. Also strengthen windows for maximum vibes. Moving on we have a drop box loot room behind a garage door. And through the single door to the right we have our workbench and a bunch of lockable loot storage. You can see the boxes here peeking through the garage door. So if they're locked, then only you have access to them, which is helpful for if a grub goes deep early on into your wipe, and also to make raiding a lot more painful for any raiders. Past our workbench, we have a jump up to our third story, and adjacent to the workbench is an armored offset bunker that leads down to the core. The tier three workbench is strategically placed so that it can be rotated during an online raid to make life even more difficult for raiders trying to blow through doors. Coming down into our core, we have more lockable storage and our armor stability bunker, which leads down into our TC room. Jumping up to the third story, there's more lockable storage for lower tier items. Level 4 hosts our bed spawn and locker kits, and also a quality of life campfire for better mobility. And level 5 stores our large battery. Jumping up to the roof, we have our partition 360 degree shooting floor, including peak downs and an optional ladder hatch chute for easy access to the compound. Moving up, there's a rooftop for shits and giggles, and the ladders lead up to our tower. The offset bunker is accessed by placing a square foundation and roof piece here. While the stability bunker is accessed by spawning in core and breaking this twig half wall. So that's the tour, let's get straight into the build. Start with three triangles. And this back triangle here is going to be a TC compartment. To start off with, you're going to have a wooden doorway here. Make sure you keep this wood because we want to chop that out later. You can set out your loot room however you like, but I'm going to show you once you get garage door, this is how I like to set it up. And for the TC, you can do whatever you like here, whether you want to use like a reinforced window. I normally just keep it as a garage door or an armored door, but whatever you decide, if you're putting a reinforced window here, you probably want to upgrade the foundation here to high qual and the roof to high qual before you proceed. Make sure you give yourself a sleeping bag in core down here. Now 
Now you probably want to expand pretty quickly since you don't have an airlock here. So you're going to place a low triangle followed by two high triangle foundations. And then you're going to seal this in with walls. On top of your core, you want to place half walls. Let's make a little pancake layer. Every other wall you can upgrade later, but once you seal these two in, you won't be able to access them anymore. For now, you'll probably be using a furnace as a jump up, so place one here. And then this is your jump up to the roof. Place a doorway here, and this will be your airlock for now. And I like to replicate the TC loot room in this little slot here. On console, you can't place garage doors over boxes. I probably won't worry too much about sorting this loot room until I get garage door. I'll just have a few random boxes in there to stash loot for now. Once you're able to, you can replace this, this door with a garage door as well. Alright, so when you have this design, so you've got the two doors, you're about ready to set up the first bunker. So all you need to do is chop out this wooden wall. Place two half walls. Ideally upgrade the top one to armored, but sheet metal for now is fine or even even stone And then this is where having the sleeping bag in core is really important So to seal up this bunker you just place a half wall and a triangle and upgrade this one And to open the bunker you just break this twig Okay, now that it's uh, daytime in game, I'm gonna move up to sec second floor here. So the second story is pretty simple. You just wanna seal in these walls here and place a single door frame here. To your right will be jump up to the next story. And actually before you fill in all of these slots here with double door frames, probably best to put a triangle here for uh, loot storage. I would generally place my workbench here. See, a good little trick here is with the tier three, place it as far against the wall as you can. With this right leg on the line, 
like right about there but then what you can do is just rotate it then that blocks access to the doorway like no one can get through that so if you're online and you're getting raided and you need some extra time just rotate your tier three because that's pretty pretty chunky to destroy yeah and that's more or less like this loot room sorted at this stage you probably want to start thinking about honeycomb so let's go out the front door and drop off to the left here so this is obviously a TC compartment. I would recommend having this armored. And depending on how much you're playing this wipe, I would upgrade this to armored as well. And then I would have at least you know, sheet metal for my pancake layer. So this is TC right here, so we're going to just do standard honeycomb. And we will eventually seal in this wall as well. So then it's three walls to TC. But before you do that, I would upgrade the, these two walls here to sheet metal. At this stage here, I'd also honeycomb the pancake layer. And then on the back side here, so this is the jump up on this left side. So we're going to leave that for now, but we can honeycomb the, the right side here. Okay, again this is the jump up from the first story to the second story in this triangle here. So to the left of that you can add honeycomb. Before you fill this in, this wall leads into the, the next wall after that is TC. Ideally you would have this as armoured, but if you can't afford that sheet metal is fine as well. It's just that you can't upgrade that like once you seal it in from the inside. Same goes for this wall here, that can be sheet metal. So let's build a temporary jump up for now. So from the roof, this is what it should look like. Pretty much honeycombed all the way around, except for next to the jump up. And in this space here, this is where we're going to add the next bunker. So this is a standard offset bunker, but I'd recommend you upgrade it the way, like in the order that I do, so that you don't come into any troubles. Again, you can do this with a raised foundation, but I prefer to use a low foundation here. So place a triangle and a wall and a half wall. Upgrade those two. Thank <laughs> you. 
From here you build a square and nine triangles. Cap it with a square and remove the rest of the twig. Including the twig triangle here. And then build back with squares. This last triangle, you want to make it clip to this square foundation. To be sure that it's attached to this square rather than the main base, you want this little stone texture here in the bottom left hand corner. So if you have that, you can upgrade that, remove all of the squares except for the first one, and then you repeat that process one more time. Nine triangles out, cap it with a square. Remove all the twig and build back with squares. Again, this last square here, uh, you just want to make sure it's attached to this square foundation. To be sure that it is, you just want this little stone texture on the bottom right here. From there, you can build three half walls. I like to fill in this triangle here on the second half wall, but the most important one for the bunker is the top triangle. So see how I'm deliberately attaching it to this half wall, rather than like if you came from this side and attached it, it would probably connect to this upgraded half wall here. So from this orientation, place your triangle. Sorry, before you do that, best to upgrade that triangle to stone and then yeah you can place the top triangle okay so probably check that it's working before you upgrade it all but I'm pretty confident okay so in here what you want to do is place a triangle frame that should have a high amount of stability, so it's 92% stable, which is good. We can just upgrade that to wood, because it's just a placeholder to make sure that you don't attach the other triangle to the wrong slot. And then from here, we should be able to place a another triangle, and this would be like, see, so yeah, a 9% is, is what we want. Okay, so to open the bunker, all you need to do is place a square foundation here, followed by a roof piece and if you've done it properly that will open up the the bunker okay same principle on this side so this is directly opposite from your tc room is that i would upgrade these two walls here to sheet metal before sealing them in Because the rest you can upgrade later, depending on how juicy you get this wipe. And once you've done that, that is the entire base honeycombed. When you get to this stage of the build, I would work on a permanent jump up. So come out the front door here your right seal in this room this will act as another dropbox storage and then to the left of the door I would place another single door And then a ring of double doors until we get to this door here I'd probably have another single door here you can place whatever you like here but I like to go a bit role player 
and have windows here. And in this slot here, I would initially, like until I get a compound down, I like to have a mixing table here. Step out the front door. And you wanna honeycomb these two walls here. Before you do that, I'd upgrade them to at least sheet metal. I think sheet metal is enough here. Once you've completed honeycomb here, that would be three walls to TC. And this little gap here will be your jump up. Come around to the opposite side here and repeat the honeycomb on this side. So again, sheet metal with these two walls. Moving up to the third story. You want to fill this in like so. To the right will be your jump up to the next level. Okay, coming out to the fourth level here, seal in these three triangles here. Again, to the right will be your jump up. And actually on this level here, I like to use a ladder or a furnace as the jump up and I'll show you why in a second. To the left here, I'd place a locker. You can place the locker and like the bedroom the next story up, but it's easier to honeycomb on this level, so I like to place it here. So this is the fourth level. Okay, and once you have doors in these slots, upgrading this to sheet metal helps not necessary but it does help and then you can actually place a bed in this spot here just a little quality of life trick is if you place a campfire here it just makes this jump up a lot easier you can just jump onto the campfire and then run onto the bed okay moving up to level five Pretty much the same setup. So 
So jump up to the right. And to the left here is where I'd place my large battery. Leading up to the roof, I'd have this as a double door rather than a garage door. Place triangles in all these slots here. I personally like to have a triangle frame here to have a ladder hatch for easy access to the compound. But, you know, up to you. And then coming up the jump up, you want to place squares. All around the top level here, place window frames. And then you might need to place uh, doorways here for stability. place single door frames in this orientation on this side and the opposite on the other side so that when you place your single doors they swing out to cover this gap make sure you lock that too and then place your embrasures after that I personally like to put them on the inside I feel like it gives you more visibility So that's the shooting floor more or less done. If you are planning to take chopper, probably not a bad idea to have doors here, garage doors or, or double doors, whatever you can afford. So that if you're getting rocketed, you can partition this off and yeah, seal in the whole roof. For the jump up to the shooting floor, place a garage door and a jump up to the next level, which is going to be access to the tower. And I like to have a doorway here. So that I can access the roof. Okay, so that's your shooting floor pretty much complete. Ideally, you'd upgrade this to sheet metal if you're planning to take heli. And the final stage is the tower. For the tower, I like to build it pretty high, so like five levels high. So we've got one, two, three, and then the fifth level will be like the access to the roof. Yeah, so it's probably not going to allow you to place anything there initially. So let's upgrade all that. So to give you stability to the tower, you just want to place your double door frames here. I think I've gone six levels up, but either way, whatever, whatever you want to do. Yeah, and then on the roof here is where you can place your wind turbine. 
See, we've gone like six stories high with this tower, which I don't think is a problem. We'll just make sure. See, you've still got plenty of plenty of leeway to get to your large battery. So in its current state, this is what it looks like. Pretty awesome if you ask me. But the final touches would be honeycombing any extra parts of the base, like depending on how much farm you have. If I were going to honeycomb the base further, I would do it like this. From the front door entrance, I'd turn left and honeycomb these two walls here. And then I'd follow that around above the door as well. And this triangle here too. Okay, and then additional honeycomb from the back here is you could honeycomb these two triangles here. This is like through this wall here is on top of the offset bunker. So yeah, we'll definitely fill in that triangle there too. All right. And you know, that, that's probably about as far as I would go with honeycombing, unless I just got super loaded and had too many resources than what I knew what to do with. But let's quickly talk about any upgrades as well. Okay, so obviously the roof of your TC compartment, you want to be armored. Or at least sheet metal. And these two raised foundations here, I would definitely armor. Because they're prone to soft siding if you don't armor them. This little half wall here, it's important that it's orientated this way so that it, um, so the soft side is facing in. I would at least sheet metal that, if not armor it. And ideally, you would also armor this whole compartment in here. Again, you know, it depends on how much you have and what you can afford. But I, I would definitely aim to get that all armored. For the second story, I'd try and upgrade everything to sheet metal. I guess if that's an armored door, then I'd upgrade that to sheet metal too. And yeah, the whole floor, I, I would recommend trying to have armored so that that way when you place your bunker, ideally as an armored bunker, there's no weakness in the floor. And depending what sort of locker kit you're running, I would definitely upgrade that to sheet metal as well. So yeah, from the outside here, this is the bunker mechanic here. I would upgrade this all to sheet metal. And then do the same on the opposite side, just so that the higher foundations on the inside there are protected 